Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Tuesday, August the 16th, 2016. And as always, thank you so much. So, still studying all my hypnotherapy and one of the lessons that has come out is this. And it's from A Course in Miracles. Many of you have studied it or worked through it. But, and I've spoken on this before in a certain way, but the healed healer doesn't need healing. So, basically, once you've healed yourself, once you're at that place of healing others and doing the work, sometimes we, out of sheer habit or obligation or the fact that we feel we may not be quite there, low self-esteem, um, a little insecure, we're not... We continue to heal, we continue to learn, we become spiritual junkies where we just keep reading this book, taking this course, adding this lesson on. You know, I, I'm a big I'm a big fan of having lots of things in your background, always continually learning. But when your learning takes you away from doing the work that you're called to do and you say you're called to do and you feel you're called to do, that's when I feel like you need to take the lesson from A Course in Miracles. You're, you're, you're healed. You're on a place of healing. And also, once you've got the physical body, mental, emotional, spiritual, social, you know, intellectual, in, in a great homeostasis, a balanced place, it doesn't take quite as much effort and work to keep it there. You know, it's like losing weight. Once you get down to your goal weight, it's a little easier to keep it there. But once you're, you know, 50, 100 pounds overweight, it takes a lot of work to get it down there. So to maintain that homeostasis and wellness is a little easier than getting there. So there's your message. I'm taking it to heart myself. So sometimes you just need to close the book and do the work. Um, always continue to learn. That's the challenge, though. You know, learn, grow. You'll know what's right. So today and tomorrow, numbers, cards. Let's look at this for a forecast of what's going on for a little roadmap, for a little guidance from spirit on the other side. So today all the numbers add up to six. That is a very balanced, nurturing number. It's kind of like work and, and, and service and, and uh, family focus, um, marriage, divorce. It's kind of like this, you know, the both sides of the scale. Lynn Norman to go along with that six energy today is the 31 card, the sun. The sun is bright, brilliant, beautiful. It's like your, your um, it's like willpower. It's like um, confidence, success. This card reminds me of like the six of wands in tarot because it's like victory, success, you feel good. And then, of course, it could be heat and optimistic, um, but confidence is a great word. From Tarot, Seven of Coins. This tells me today is a rock and roll day for you because the Seven of Coins, low-hanging fruit. It's about money, resources, finances, family. This is that Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Earth energy, very feminine energy. The woman standing there, she's like, yeah, I got, an, I got an empty bucket of nothing, but there's a bunch of stuff right there. Reach out, pick it, low-hanging fruit. It's right there for you, abundance. So just do the work. The sun tells you get up there, be confident, do the work. There's victory and success. You just have to accept it. It's right there in front of you. And again, with the six energy, very balanced, very family-focused, service-oriented. Tomorrow, we flip into the number seven. Seven is metaphysical, mystical, research, mm -hmm. solitude, um, very much uh, analyzing kind of science, solitude, metaphysical day. This is where you, a spiritual focus could be a big thing. Um, my house is a number seven, which is kind of cool. The number to go along with that is going to be the woman. So the woman's popped up a little bit lately. So this is about you. This is about you if you're a woman. If you're a man, it's probably about a woman in your life. And that's how I read uh, Lenora. Tara to go along with it is eight of coins. So we're in a nice progression. I don't know what that is. We're in a nice, there's some barking in the other end of the house. There's a nice progression with the cards from seven of coins to eight of coins. Eight of coins, <clears throat> it's like, okay, let's do the work. Eight of coins is burning the candle at both ends. A lot of work, a lot of stuff going on. So today, sun, seven of coins, do the work. Optimistic, the, the fruit's right there. Tomorrow, reaping the harvest. You, you got it. You pick the fruit. Now it's time to, to clean it, to cut it, to serve it. So today, um, you know, harvest tomorrow. Put it out there. So there's your message for today and tomorrow. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, where the monthly special is still up. It's available to you. And again, Sunday night, Cosmic Caffeine. Um, what else is going on? I think that's about it. Namaste. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.